welcome back to the channel welcome to another video today is uh is some a little bit different you may, you may be thinking you know what's going on but here's the deal it's it is currently 96 degrees outside it is so hot in texas and uh i'm honestly thinking about getting rid of my membership to the gym and uh just using my truck as a sauna um you know anytime i need to sit in the sauna i'll just go out and sit in my truck that's been sitting in the driveway it's probably about 115 degrees in it, but that is completely just beside the point um, I have something that's cool today and it's kind of like it's kind of a little educational piece that I want to just kind of something that I see a lot in golf and I want to share it with you guys and this is not like a normal golf video but I thought it'd be really cool to just kind of walk through this and kind of share my perspective on something and that's what I'm gonna do today so I'm gonna be at the driving range I just showed up and I'm gonna go out and hit some balls and talk to you guys about one of the biggest mistakes that I see people making sometimes even good players but a lot of times like you know average weekend warriors um, people like that so this is to help hopefully everybody um, implement this into your game and I get and I think it's gonna be able to make a difference in and uh, how you're playing and how you're scoring and really the way that you think about golf so thanks for tuning in thanks for all the support 300k is right around the corner and uh, hopefully I can hit that number before the end of August that is my goal so if you haven't subscribed make sure you hit that button let's let's run it up but it's a beautiful day I, uh, I do have coffee I always have coffee and um, yeah let's go hit some range balls let's do it all right so you tell me if this looks familiar all right so you got you got yourself some range balls here and uh, you just show up to the course and you know just hitting a couple just ah that kind of sucks let me hit another one ah that sucked too let me just hit another one better let me just hit another one nah that sucked you catching on here yet and then maybe you start to get a little loose you start to get a little feel a little better so let's just say you've made it halfway through your bucket of balls and you know you're in this warm session it's just going terribly and this happens for a lot of people sometimes even me but you're halfway through your bucket of balls which I'm not but you're halfway through your bucket of balls and you're just like man just not feeling it not vibing not getting in a groove here and uh, maybe you got a tea time or maybe you're just practicing but the thing that I see most is people come out here on the range and they have these expectations for themselves they fail to meet those expectations and they get discouraged and then a cycle happens where they you know really can't create any positive expectations from the way that they're hitting the ball a lot of this stems from the way that you practice and I kind of learned this I would say the hard way of practicing in golf doesn't always make perfect and that's like a, a misconception probably for some people but practicing golf can actually work um, negatively towards you if you don't understand what or why it's happening that's kind of what I want to talk about is people do not often do not practice with intention and that causes so many mental errors when you're on the range and when you're on the course. Most of my practice sessions, sometimes I'm trying to grind a feel out and that's when you just want to hit a ton of balls. But most of my practice sessions involve me, for at least 75% of the balls that I'm hitting, involve me envisioning the shot, envisioning a target, and going through my routine and learning how to execute those shots on the range. Because if you get up here and you hit one way over to the right, and then you hit one to the left, and then you hit one straight, and you're like, oh yeah, that, I'm feeling that. The problem with this kind of practice is there's no consequence for a bad shot. So if I hit it over there, then I don't like it. I just roll up another ball and hit it again. And if I like that one, then I'll roll up another one. I don't, I'm not connecting any type of emotion with the shots that I'm hitting on the range. And I think that is so detrimental to your game. And I think that probably hurts a lot of people practice with intention so I'm gonna kind of show you guys what that looks like for me so I'm picking a target I'm picking the 110 yard 110 yard target right there and even if I don't hit it it's okay but I'm still going through a routine I'm still picking a target I'm visualizing that shot I'm setting up to it a couple looks at the target look back and go and that's just a, that's a little bit off but it's okay because I'm still I'm still connecting the dots in my subconscious mind to say 
every time I hit a ball, it's going through my routine, picking a target, visualizing it, and executing it. I'm not just sitting here hitting a ball, it's not what I want, and then I'm just pulling another one over and then hitting it. There's, there's no emotion or subconscious training uh, connected to that, and I think that's, it's, it's so important to start to connect the dots between um, like shots that have consequences and shots that don't because if I hit one over there zero consequence I'm gonna rake up another one not think anything about it consciously but guess what my subconscious has logged to that so now when I'm on the course I'm in a situation where I have this shot there's something over there the subconscious is logging every single shot that you're hitting so you want to make sure that you're training it in a way that's gonna have a positive impact on your game when you're on the range and when you're on the course step back behind it pick a target which I got it I usually sometimes pick a little something right in here, get nice and set up square to that, reinforce my target, and then go for it. That was actually very well executed. I'm going to go through, go through a couple more of those, and then I'm going to switch clubs, and I'm going to do the same thing throughout my entire bag. Just a little bit left there. Yeah, so that's eight iron. Now I'm gonna kind of jump through the bag pretty quickly here just so you guys can understand, get a concept for what I'm doing. But all right, I've switched to five iron and uh, just gonna keep that same routine going, gonna keep picking targets. And even if you hit a bad shot, you, you, you don't just rack another one up and figure out, try to figure out what happened. So I got my targets, I'm gonna do that purple flag. Okay, so that was a complete miss, but I'm not gonna. I'm gonna start my routine over. Yep. And the more you do this, and the more you start to attach routine, target, good shots with the subconscious, it's gonna be so much easier for you to take that to the course. All right, so I hit a couple. I'm back to wedges, but my my whole point of this is learning to learning to practice with intention, and that's like the key word is intention. Um, whenever you come out to the, if if you're a player who's really trying to improve and, and take straight strokes off your game, which I feel like a lot of you guys are, learning to practice with intention is going to make a huge difference in your ability to be able to translate your game from the range to the course. And that is, every time you hit a ball, you have an intention for it. It's not just to hit it far, it's not just to hit it hard. Be able to learn how to take your game from here to the golf course. So this is like, I don't know, just like range thoughts with TIG, but hope you guys, you know, this is something that's it's super simple and anyone can do it. You don't have to be a good player to do it. You just have to have a little bit of discipline and take a little more time to hit a bucket of balls instead of just ripping through them. But so now I got a little 52 degree. I'm gonna pick a target 70 degree, 70 yards right there. Just focus on where this wants the ball wants to land. And literally just rolled right up to it. So it's like, yeah, you can you can get in a groove with your swing on the range, and you can just start hitting a bunch of good shots. But then your subconscious is is not programming what's happening because there's no intention. That is really the whole point of this very short video, but I just I just have seen this and I'm like, you know what? I want to talk about it. And one more thing, when you have a good target in your brain, in your mind for your subconscious to latch onto, you are probably 90% more your success rate of hitting it close to that target is probably 90% more if you're focused more on the target than you are the swing. My goodness, guys, that is all like that is all I can take. I mean, look at this right here. Some of you guys might live in a, well, you can't even see it, but it says 100, 103. I capped out. I probably hit about 100 balls, but. I hope you guys enjoyed this. It's definitely something a bit different, shorter video, but I just think it's important in these little things that I'm learning along the along my journey in this 
in golf and you know trying to get better and trying to play at a high level um you know just being able to share that with you guys the people who have supported me since day one um is i i just love it so hopefully you guys learn something from this um practice with intention that's like the best way to subscribe uh, s- subscribe you should subscribe but practice with intention that's the best way to describe kind of my the point that i'm trying to get across make sure you're doing that make sure you're make sure you're connecting the subconscious with those shots on the range that are good and you know not having crazy expectations on the like from the range to the course and just managing those in a way that allows you to be able to play freely so hopefully you guys enjoyed it hopefully you learned something let me know if you want to see kind of more little videos like this kind of sprinkled out in between and uh we'll make it happen but thanks for tuning in thanks for all the support um yeah that's it i'm gonna go get some water